One of the very surprising things when I moved from Canada to the United States was being invited to funerals or hearing about funerals where a Jewish person was cremated. This is not common in Canada, but in the United States, it seems to be a growing popular thing to do. When we were in Florida, there was actually ads in the Jewish paper for Jewish cremation. Not only are they telling people to cremate, Jewish cremation. Now cremation is completely, completely forbidden by Jewish law. We came from the earth, and we're supposed to go back to the earth. Your body has sanctity. It housed the soul. We are supposed to cleanse it after death and bury it. That's the Jewish way. People often come to me or people bring me people and they say to me, no, I don't want to use up the earth's spaces. I don't think it's good for the environment, that we're, we're already using up enough. There's plenty of land. There's plenty of space. Some people are choosing cremation, adult children, for their parents. And people tell me this. Many people who work in hospice care in Florida tell me that they choose cremation just because it's easier, it's less expensive, it's more convenient. My mother always told us that she wanted to be cremated. She says, cremate me and scatter my ashes at the cottage. Well, years later, she called me up and she said, I changed my mind. I want to rot beside your father in the cemetery. I said, Mom, we were never going to cremate you. <laughs> I don't care what you asked us. Out of four kids in our family, three of us are observant Jews. We're not cremating our parents. People do as much as they know. Today, Jews are so far away from so much knowledge and so much tradition and so much commitment they don't even know that cremation is wrong, that it's forbidden. Again, you should learn. You should empower yourself with knowledge so that you can make good choices. And when we're going through the heaviest thing in our life, when we've lost our loved one, often we are pressured, whether it's from the funeral home or from other loved ones, to do this or to do that. Learn about it now what is right and what is wrong, so that when you're in that situation, you can make clear choices. I'm Lori, Almost Life.